Assalamu alaikum. This is me, Abdul Mohit, your English teacher. Welcome back to the part 2 of this lesson on passive voice. In this part, you're going to learn how the passive sentences of present simple are formed. Dear students, first of all, you need to know about the active and passive formulation of present simple tense. The active sentences of present simple are formed by subject plus the first form of the verb plus object. And the passive sentences of present simple are formed by object plus is, am, are plus the third form of the verb plus by plus subject. Now, keeping in view the formulation, you're supposed to see the given examples. The first example is, I break a cup. In this sentence, I is the subject, break is the verb, cup is the object. Now see how the passive voice of this very sentence is formed. At first, we have brought the object at the beginning of the sentence. Then, the helping verb, then the third form of the man verb, then by, then the subject has been used at the end. Guys, here you can see that we have strictly followed the passive formulation. The next example is negative. We do not like sweets. Now, in negative sentence, you have to put not between the helping verb and the man verb. For example, sweets are not liked by us. You can see that the rest of the formulation is same. Now, let's learn the voices of present progressive tense. First of all, you need to learn about the active and passive formulation of present progressive tense. The active sentences of present progressive are formed by subject plus is, am, are plus the fourth form of the verb plus object. And the passive sentences of present progressive are formed by object at the beginning, then is, am, are, then being, then the third form of the verb, then by, then the subject. For example, he is blaming me. This is an active sentence. Now see how the passive of this sentence is formed. First of all, we have put the object at the beginning of the sentence. Then the helping verb, then being, then the third form of the man verb, then by, then the subject has been used at the end. See the next example. They are not helping me. This is a negative sentence. The passive voice of this very sentence is I am not being helped by them. Here you can see that the formulation of simple and negative is almost same. In negative sentence, you have to add not between the helping verb and being. Rest of the formulation is same. Now, see the voices of present perfect tense. As usual, at first you need to know the active as well as the passive formulation. The active formulation of present perfect tense is subject plus have or has plus the third form of the verb plus object. In this way, the passive formulation of present perfect is object plus have or has plus been plus the third form of the verb plus by plus subject. For example, the teacher has taught the lesson. This is an active sentence. Now see how this sentence has been changed into passive. The lesson has been taught by the teacher. Here you can see that the above mentioned formulation has been strictly followed. 
The next example is negative. Ali has not played cricket. In negative sentences of voices of present perfect tense, you're supposed to put not between have or has and been. Rest of the formulation is same. I hope it is clear. Alright guys, here are today's lecture is completed. Now I am going to assign you a task. Guys, you should make at least 60 interrogative as well as intro negative sentences and change them into passive. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe, share and like.